student of knowledge who respects himself and who respects the art of seeking knowledge should try to push him or herself to the highest possible limit, inshallah. Try to seek knowledge in the best, most proficient manner possible. Not just learning in America, not just going overseas, not just reading a book, memorizing, sitting in a class, or whatever the case may be, but trying to structure and craft your life around the search of knowledge. And knowledge is a spouse that does not accept a co-wife. Knowledge is a spouse that does not accept any other relationships on the side. Knowledge is a spouse, it's a wife that is very stingy and jealous. Very stingy and very jealous. It's a spouse that demands and requires all of your time, all of your money, all of your attention. <clears throat> and in order for you to receive some of the affection and some of the love of knowledge, you have to give yourself everything, 110%, to get a small piece of knowledge. As some of you have knowledge in the past said, Al ilmu, in a'atayta'hu, kul laka a'ataka ba'dahu, aw a'ataka ba'dahu. They say, if you give all of yourself to knowledge, you give some of yourself to you. So from these concepts, it's for a student's knowledge to look after his or her books. What books to buy, what books not to buy. What books to read, what books to memorize, what books to use as reference, etc. And also taking care of your library. Every student of knowledge should have his or her own personal library. No matter what type of fluency you have in wealth, a little bit or a lot. If you have one rack of books, one row of books, you should have your own personal set of books. Not that of the masjid, not that of your father or your mother or your house, but in your own room, you should have your own personal bookshelf or bookshelves that you have access to all of the time. And you should take care of those books. Know what books you have, how to use them. And from the concepts of becoming one with your books, Ahmed, becoming one with your books, and you increasing the bond, is to have your own personal book stand. Your own personal book stand. Whether it's the old fashioned one, or whether it's the new modern day one. Okay, I prefer the old fashioned. The point is, is that not only do you keep your books, inshallah, safe from being taken or being claimed by someone who doesn't actually own them, but your book is a part of you. It's your stamp on the book. You pass it on to your children, your family members. All right, and they realize, oh, this is my Aggie's book. This is what he used to do. And perhaps that will inspire those children. Or, like I said, they're your stepson, your stepdaughter. You don't know who's going to come across that information. And as I said, the story today in Boone Team, New Jersey, and before, and before, and before, many times, you could ask me, how did you study English or Arabic? How did you go to seas? What inspired you? How did I become a Hadith disciple? Which has many times. I found some of the books, some of the notes, and some of the personal inscriptions of my own father. And that's what inspired me to seek knowledge. So my father, he did not directly inspire me to seek it. He did not directly push me to go overseas and learn. My mother did that. She's the one who told me to go seek knowledge, to go travel, and to read books. But my father's influence and his inspiration was there even if it wasn't direct. So the moral of the story is you don't know who's going to come across the information. You don't know. You don't know who's going to look at what you do and mimic your life and take from your legacy. You don't know. So therefore, having a stamp is a means of personalizing your book, is a means of having a signature on your book, is a means of you being a part and attached to your books. This is my library, this is my personal possessions, this is not a public, this is my specific book. So, overseas, and even here in America, you get a stamp, maybe not like this in Arabic. It's preferable, in my humble opinion, I didn't say it's the Sunnah, but in my humble opinion, our, our uh, way or our style, that a student knowledge cannot be complete until he has or she has a book stamp. That's your own personal book stamp. This is my book stamp from Medina. I've had this for some years. I have other books that have older stamps. You got destroyed, stamps in Yemen, etc. Later, inshallah. As we said before,